Hello all, welcome to Tech Tapter. Myself Vishal Bulbule and in this video we are going to see how to prepare for Terraform Associate Certification exam. So you, if you haven't registered for a Terraform Associate Certification exam and want to know how to register for this Terraform Associate exam, you can refer my previous video. I explained how we can register and schedule our Terraform Associate Certification exam. So in this video, we'll only see how to prepare and how to pass the Terraform Associate Certification exam in a first attempt. So I would just want to tell you one thing before starting. So this is a easy certification. If you already given a certification for a cloud, say AWS, Azure or a Google Cloud. So this seems easy to you, but the first thing you should have a good hands on of any of the public cloud using the terraform so as i say good hands-on it means you should have a good experience of creating infrastructure on public cloud using the terraform so it doesn't matter if you have a hands-on experience on aws or a azure or a google cloud so first thing you should have a hands-on if you are new to a terraform you can first start creating your small infrastructure on a public cloud using the terraform so you can refer my uh, video tutorials on a terraform to know how to create infrastructure on a google cloud using a terraform so next thing will be you should know about the exam pattern so what type of questions you will get in exams and how much questions will be there and what is the time for your exam so all these things you should know before going or registering for the exam so i'll go to a official hashicorp website so hashicorp is nothing but a terraform vendor so terraform exam is provided by a hashicorp or this product is provided by hashicorp so i'll just type terraform associate certification and i'll go to a official website so once you open a website you will see here either register for exam or prepare for the exam so before going prepare for this i'll just open this in new tab and i'll just scroll down before just uh, remember so here you could see a uh, exam details so there will be a multiple choice question so what type of multiple choice we'll see uh, in few minutes and format will be online so this exam is not offline mode so you can give it at your remote location or from the home so there will be a separate instruction for giving this exam from home so you can refer that in a exam taker handbook so this price language is only one english and expiration is two years so your exam or your certificate get expired after the two years so that is a basic exam details now i'll go to first like assessment type a multiple choice but i would say this multiple choice doesn't mean only a multiple choice question this will include your multiple choice as well as true false as well as fill in the blanks and also a multiple select question so there will be four type of multiple choice question in a terraform certification exam so i'll just show you a sample question on this terraform site so here if i go to review exam and sample question here so you could see there will be four type of question so first will be true and false so you will get two option only true or false and you need to choose a correct answer then another will be multiple choice where you will be given multiple options and only one correct answer you have to choose then a uh, next will be multiple answer where you there will be a checkbox and a multiple options you have to select a correct option mentioned so here it mentioned choose two correct option so you have to choose uh, two check boxes which should be a correct so if it is saying three correct answer you have to choose for three okay and if it is not given here you have to choose all correct option you could see now there will be again a text match so it's kind of a filling the blanks for you the last type of the here it will give one a question and there will be a fill in the blanks and you have to put the correct answer in the input field so these four questions will be there in multiple choice and questions will be around 57 to 59 questions so i got a 59 question for terraform exam few candidates got a 57 so it depends how much so it's around 57 to 59 question you have to solve in within a one hour so time limit is not a constant you can easily solve uh, 57 to 59 or a 60 questions within a one hour because uh, there will not be a much uh, long question it's just like one line the question you will get so now this is all about uh, exam pattern 
now i'll coming back to my slide and we'll see what else we need to prepare for the terraform associate certification exam now if you have good hands on and now you got a exam pattern the first thing i would suggest you to go to a terraform commands okay so there will be a multiple questions on the terraform cli or terraform command in the exam so you won't search i would say you won't search for a terraform cheat sheet or terraform commands on a browser i would say you just play with the commands so i would uh, tell you a simple way so go to a terminal where you are using the terraform so here i have some terraform configuration files already and i have terminal i already have a terraform installed in my system so to check all available terraform commands or to get you could say a cheat sheet so simply type a terraform and just h so you will get all available commands in output okay so here you could see all available commands with the description so i'll just copy this Okay, I'll just copy this and I will just paste it in a notepad. So I'll open a notepad and I'll copy all uh, output in my notepad. So let me expand it and let me paste. Okay, so now you could see the main commands are terraform init validate plan apply and destroy so you will be definite questions on these command because these are considered as a main command in a terraform so now i will take a first command so you could see what init command is first so prepare your working directory for other commands okay so this is a description here so questions will be on these the benefits or like uh, the significance of each command so i will now check for init command okay so i will clear my screen and i will type terraform init and now again i will just type hyphen h okay and now i got this output okay so i will just copy again this output and i will just paste inside a new file okay and now see so if i am using backend along with a terraform init what is the significant disable the backend for terraform cloud initialization so each flag you would know and these flags will be asked in your fill in the blank so if i am using a terraform plan i can just do terraform plan h and you could see what are the different parameters or flag you can use along with a so this is so i got this question how we can uh, output a plan into the file so this flag is used for that so you have to just need to know what are the different flags used along with the terraform command so you can just play around with each command and see instead of just reading out or uh, just trying to mug up the command so this will be beneficial to play around the commands but if you are good hands on you would be already known uh, significance of each command so that is the one thing and very important thing while going for the terraform associate certification exam then the next thing i will suggest is a go for a hashicorp terraform official documentation so where you will find if you try to find on each topic it will be very difficult so i would suggest go here exam review terraform certification and here there will be exam syllabus and a relevant documentation for that topic so if you scroll down here you could see what are the topics covered in exam so explain what is iac and here is a official documentation on that so you can read so you can go topic by topic and you can read all these because question will be very small question from this documentation so you can go through all these uh, topics so there will be questions on understanding terraform basics so what is provider uh, how to use of different versions of provider how to use a terraform block so questions will be mostly around that so terraform setting and provider so this is very important topic and you will get a 
like four to five questions on provider how to use different versions of provider and how to create a provider block and what are the different options available in a provider uh, block then there will be cl as i already explained so these commands will be helpful so terraform fnt taint import workspace state so you should learn about this command and the significance of different flag you can just follow these documents then interact with a terraform modules so there will be questions on module as well you can again refer this a documentation how to create a module and mostly the questions will be on variable scope in your module if you can use a variable inside module and how you can show output from module to your root directory console so all a question you should be clear with your concepts then navigating from terraform workflow so it's mostly workflow is nothing but a terraform init plan and terraform apply so this is a simple workflow you have to known for this init validate plan and apply and you should know the significance of each command when you run terraform apply what are the changes will happen so changes happen to your infrastructure changes happen to your state file and if you execute a terraform plan so what will happen it will create your infrastructure or it will create only a state file or it will download your plugins so you should know what each exam or like what each command is doing so you can just try it doing the hands-on and you will have a clear understanding of each command then a very important topic in terraform is a maintaining the state so will be question on a terraform state and backend what are the different kinds of backend and how to use that backend how to use the backend block in terraform setting so the questions will be around that so the what is local backend and what is remote backend so you will get a question around that like how to use your state file in a remote location like a gc storage bucket or s3 bucket what is the state file locking so you will get questions on that then mostly on input and output variables and attributes you will get a question so this is the topic read generate and modify con configuration so this is also an important one and we'll see a terraform cloud enterprise capability so okay so there are two different product again one is terraform free and two like terraform enterprise and terraform cloud so you should be aware of the difference between terraform cloud and terraform enterprise and what are the different feature provided by enterprise as well as cloud so, so there will be a questions on that along with the sentinel and the inbuilt services provided by each product so you can just go through this documentation and you can check the features and available option on each of the terraform product so you can follow this a uh, documentation now once you gone through all commands and documentation then the last step but i could say a must have steps is to go through a sample questions okay so sample questions are very useful so to be honest i got a uh, multiple questions from the exam topic website so i would say if i go here and just type Terraform associate certification exam sample question you will see a uh, multiple website so I referred uh, exam topics and I got a uh, multiple questions as it is from this website so there are total 197 questions so it hardly take you a uh, two or three hours to go through all the questions so I would say before going for this exam you can refer this question and for correct answer you always follow these discussions so here there is a discussion for each answer or each questions so what will be the correct so here you could say someone are saying b and b so a lot of people are saying b so you can read the documentation link provided in the discussion and you will get to know why this is a correct answer so even for a google cloud exams i am referring this exam topics not only for the sample question but the discussion is very helpful here why the correct answer is b or why the correct answer is a so a lot of candidates are posting their reviews along with the uh, reference link so that is very helpful if you are going for the certification exam now if you prepared for a sample questions as you call doc terraform commands i would say you are set to give a terraform certification exam and this is very simple exam as compared to uh, your google cloud or a cloud providers exam like aws or uh, azure or a google cloud so that's it for this video if you need any help from my side for preparing your exam you can mail me 
i have given my email id in the description and all the best for your exam so you can refer my terraform tutorial also for your exam to clear your concept so mostly it's uh, based on a conceptual understanding so thank you for watching this video and all the best for your exam